Hello and welcome to MB Tech. Uh, earlier we went over setting up a switch, or two switches actually. One was a router with a uh, five port switch and then the other one was an actual uh, switch that's in my basement. Uh, now we're actually going to set up a map uh, within Zabbix, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And then we'll be setting up a line between the two, showing the bandwidth, you know, if the port goes down and stuff like that for uh, some interesting information there. So first of all, we're going to have to log into Zabbix again. Remember, uh, username is case sensitive. And once we're in there, we're going to go to the monitoring maps. Once we're in the maps, we're going to actually say create a map. And we're just going to call this the network map. Uh, let's make it 900 by 700. Um, background image, um, it says no image, automatic icon mapping, highlight, we can leave that all as is, and click add, and there we are. Uh, now that we're uh, back to the, the main map, so we can see that there's a local network and then the, the network map itself, so we're actually going to go to the constructor. And then from the constructor here, this is where we actually add the uh, elements um, or map icons and stuff like that for the maps uh, themselves. So here we're going to do add. Automatically sets it up as the server for some reason. We're going to click on that. We're going to look at type. We don't want image. We actually want host. And we actually want uh, the host that we're going to select is our uh, router. So we have our router there, and then now what we're going to do is look at the icons. It says it's a server, that's what this is. We want a router, so we will look for router, and we want it to be a 96, which is basically the size. So there's a 24, 48, 64, 96, and the 128. We're going to say 96, um, and then we're going to hit apply to this. Okay, looking at that icon, that's more of a actual router symbol. We're actually going to look for an actual router here. Router 96 and apply. That looks more like what I have um, for that uh, item there. And then for label, we're actually going to, as I mentioned, use uh, some macros. So we're going to use the host name, host IP, and then we're going to have the latency. So it'll pull the latency from the ICMP uh, pings for uh, that actual uh, router itself. Uh, so we have that, and so that looks good. And here we'll just click apply. Uh, we'll close that out. And we're going to add another one. Once again, it sets it up as the default route of uh, thing. I'm not sure why. We're going to say host. This is going to be uh, basically we want host name, host IP, host. We're actually going to do the uh, switch this time, and we're going to select a router, or I'm sorry, a switch. And this will be a 96 switch. Click apply. So. We're as of right now, you can see we've got the router and the switch. And then once I get out of this, we're going to hit update. Make sure you hit update. <laughs> For some reason, if you don't hit update, you lose all your information. It makes sense. But there, and then you can see now that we've got it picked up the name, the IP address, latency is okay. And then the uh, name and IP address, and then latency is okay there. Um, next thing what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a link uh, between the two and then we're going to actually go to a specific port because I know that this router is actually connected to port 1 uh, on this switch and then I'm going to create a, uh, a link between these two. Um, so what we need to do is go back into edit map. Once we're in the edit map, this time you're actually going to just select both and then uh, we're going to add a link up here. And it says from basement router to basement switch. Um, so we've got the link now that you can see that it is uh, like green. Here for link indicators, we are going to hit the, uh, the edit action uh, for this. And then here, once again, it's going to be like a label. Um, so we will put that labeling in there. Got 
got our link down and we also have our um, bandwidth when it's greater than 95 percent so now what we need to do is add triggers for that so if everything is good it's green obviously um, then we're add a trigger and then our trigger is going to be our switch and basically we want our gigabit high level above and link it down so there's our uh, information for that and we want our color to be yellow when it gets above 95 and then obviously when the link is down we want it to be red and you click apply to that make sure you hit update click ok and let's make sure see make sure see if we see what our stuff is uh, high bandwidth usage interface cpu did not like that so let's go back to the edit map Okay, apply that, update, see if it shows it correctly this time. Okay, now we see our in and our out. Um, it says unknown here, so I'm going to go back into editing. I must have missed something. Looks like both. Links. Zero. Um, okay. Y close close update again and let's verify it this time. There we go. So we got our in out, our uh, one gigabit, and our uh, basement switch uh, going to the yeah. Now another thing you can do is you can actually add a, a, a background um, to this as well. So I've got one of those. Okay, next we're going to add a background um, to this. Um, what we need to do there is go to administration, go to general, and then actually on our drop down here, instead of GUI, we go to um, images. And here we are going to go to background and create a background. And here we'll just call this uh, MB Tech BG. Going to choose our file. Uh, let's see. Not going to buy that. So we've got that. Click Add. And now we've got this background. Go back to our monitoring, go back to our maps, network map, edit map. Um, oops. Properties from properties and be tech. Update. Now, if we go into the network map, We've got my logo on there with our uh, T switches. So that is how you, you add a uh, background, add two switches to the maps, uh, set up uh, information about those switches using uh, the uh, name of those uh, macros and stuff like that for those uh, systems. And then you can see here that we've got our in and out. Everything's green. If this uh, cable is to be unplugged, then it would go red. Um, or if it goes above 95%, 90 it would go uh, yellow. Uh, there. So that is it for the maps. I'll be doing some more with some servers and stuff like that and then actually demonstrating, you know, pulling the plug or shutting the server down and then having it uh, show red. Um, that is it for maps with Zabbix. Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And thanks a lot and until the next video.